hey y'all um doing this one here i'm not going to show the screen on this one because it's from a new source that whether you got a subscription from them or not they they pick and choose on uh on what whether they uh they hit you with a uh, with the thing and then YouTube pull it down and whatnot. Okay. You see what the title says. Um, and th this is, should be easily searched, but anyway, the Ukraine, what now this, uh, this article was put out before the, the dog wagging the tail, tail wagging the dog and dog wagging the tail. Now we know stuff going on, even, uh, but then with the picture, the slide put with the bomb thing and then the other stuff and there's some other things going on that I'm not, I'm telling y'all that it, it, this, it ain't what you think it is. It it's something, but it's enough just to be something. I need to put the Benny Hill theme music, chase music to one video. I got where the Russian military vehicles are going in. And the Ukrainian, and they, they're so courteous and they stop. Some vehicles go military, then some of the regular people in military. You know, I'm like, that's not how war zones work. So uh, that that's just the way uh, that goes there. So anyway, let, let's get it. This, this was from uh, last month. Before, like I say, before any of this stuff really uh, went on, Ukraine war flashes neon warning lights for chips. Remember the video that I done about uh, talking about, well, it's on Patreon now, so it's marked as unlisted, but uh, you, uh, but I uh, squoze a couple of screenshots in from it, but I talked about this and showing the minerals and, and the stuff that they have. This dog, my daughter's dog is driving me crazy. Um, boy, um, Ukraine, uh, Ukraine war flash. I'm sorry, y'all, but uh, they, they just, Ukraine war flashes neon warning lights for chips. Milan, February 24. Russia's invasion of the Ukraine by land, air, and sea risk reverberating across the global chip industry and exacerbating current supply chain constraints. I've done, I, I remember I've done the one on the uh, showing where the 65 year flip, worse uh, drought in 65 years. In Taiwan, how it affected the chip, because uh, you need fresh water to make wafers. It's part of the process. Well, you need other stuff, too, and that's what this one is about. Reverberating across the global chip industry and exas ex exacerbating current supply chain constraints, Ukraine is a major producer of neon gas critical for lasers used in chip making and supplies more than 90% of U.S. semiconductor grade neon. I'm going to read that part again. Ukraine is a major producer of neon gas critical for lasers used in chip making and supplies more than 90% of U.S. semiconductor grade neon. According to estimates from research firm Tech, Techet, T-E-C-H-C-E-T, about 35% of palladium, remember, I've done that, remember? If for y'all that was there, y'all should remember this. About 35% of palladium, a rare metal also used for semiconductors, is sourced from Russia. A full-scale conflict disrupting exports of these elements might hit players like Intel, which gets about 50% of its neon from Eastern Europe, according to J.P. Morgan. The pain won't fall evenly. ASML, 
which supplies machines to semiconductor makers, sources less than 20% of the gases it uses from the crisis-hit countries. Companies may turn to China, the United States, and Canada to boost supplies, says J.P. Morgan. But this may be a slow path. Well, of course it's going to be a slow path. And a, and a, when, when, when you supply 90%, 90%. That only leaves 10%. So you got everybody jockeying for the 10% that's sourced from somewhere else. I'll let y'all, I'll let y'all uh, gray matter do the math on that one. Uh, although the chip making industry was able to manage and increase and increase in neon prices, Stemming from the 2014 Crimean crisis, the scale of today's conflict looks much longer, l larger. Now, uh, say the, the the chip making industry was able to manage and increase because the chip making industry they gotta eat it, but they ain't gonna eat it. We are the end user, the stuff that you buy, you're buying the products that those chips are going in. Them chips ain't gonna sit on the shelf and collect dust because the price got raised due to the cost of neon gas. It's gonna go into the build, it's gonna go into the product, and that extra is coming out of our pockets. You want it or not? But that, uh, you want it or not? Yeah. Is this much? It is what it is. I'm telling y'all, this is window dressing. A lot of this stuff is window dressing. A lot of folks ain't getting, they, they a lot of folks don't get it. They just don't get it. A lot of folks don't care to get it. So, I mean, let, let's be for real. Let's keep it uh, for real, for real. A lot of people don't care to get it. They could care less. But anyway, there's always something more to be gained. Look, war is about conquest. It's about resources. Be there mineral or not, cultural or not, human, human resources or not. And there's no darling on either side. There's no darling on the Russian side, and there definitely ain't a darling on the Ukrainian side. Now, I ain't got no say on, on this. Well, I mean, uh, neither president contacted me, you know, or, or you know, or, or somebody didn't, uh, Putin didn't have uh, Dmitry Medvedev uh, uh, shoot me an email for a conference. So, you know, as far as they concerned, my ass don't even exist. But there's always this. It, the tail is definitely wagging the dog. At first, I thought they were wagging each other because, you know, the dog can wag the tail and the tail can wag the dog. But look like it's then started from the dog wagging the tail. Then they're both wagging. Now the tail is wagging the dog. Cause some of the video and some of the news that I see come out of this, uh, come out of here. I know it's BS. I don't say nothing. I know what I'm looking for cause I've been in those situations before and I know how you move under fire. I know how you move when it's a real mortar blast. I know how you move. You see civilians, so, uh, civilians and you hear the sound and the zoom and the crash bang, and then they don't, they don't, they don't even flex. And then later on, and you hear them talking, and then the overlay, it's a thing called audio wash. If you and I are talking in front of a microphone or whatever the heck, or something of this, that, and other, and a mortar crashes close enough by where you can hear it before it strikes, like we, like I hear in the microphones of this so-called news stuff. And you can hear it, but you can hear it incoming before it strikes. That's the tails on the on the on the mortar. It has to, it has fins on the back. There's for stabilization. 
you can hear them as they cut through the air, okay? They sound different. Mortar, inc incoming mortar, and incoming artillery, two totally different sounds. I, I know them both. And they don't flinch. And you hear the bang, boom, 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 and the audio wash. The audio from the mortar doesn't wash out their voices. They're still talking. And they're not yelling. They just talking, well, such and such and that. Well, this and that and other and da da da. But when they go, you can still hear their voices. That's added audio. That's added audio. The tail is wagging the dog. See y'all later. Bye. That's all I'm going to say. I ain't saying nothing else.